guys welcome to my channel vinyl beauty or welcome back i'm debbie if you don't know me for today's video we're going to be playing with the peachy queen be mine palette i ordered this back in february it was kind of a tie-in with valentine's day but things take forever to come from the states to the uk so it's now the 27th of march but still wanted to play with this now no prizes for guessing why I picked this up. I love Betty Boop. You can see the, the Betty Boop figurines in my background. I'm very much into packaging and pop culture. And yeah, when I saw Betty Boop on the cover of a palette, that was it. And it was in the sale as well. So I got it for $15. So super excited to play with this. Whatever the time of year, I love red eyeshadow. And there's some reds and pinks. It's a beautiful colour story. I'll show you the colours. Yeah, it would have been perfect for Valentine's, but... As I say, these sort of colours are, are my kind of colours all year round anyway. So I'm going to do a halo eye with this today. Definitely going to test out the red because if there's a red in a palette, I've got to see if it's good or not. I'm fairly familiar with Peachy Queen and the formula that they have. I've got the We're All Mad Here palette, which is a Halloween release that they had. And I've got a couple of others as well. They've all been pretty consistent, pretty good. So I've got high hopes for this and yeah, really excited to play with it. So if you want to see the colours I choose and the look that I create with this palette, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, I've scooched you in. I'm going to just show you the palette a bit closer up so you can see it on screen. We're going to be, as I say, using the red. I think I'm going to use this brown as a deepening up shade and I think I'm going to do a halo eye, as I say. So I might bring in the gold or even this colour here. Not entirely sure yet, but, but yeah beautiful beautiful color story so i've done all of my makeup off camera besides my eyes and my lips so i've done cheeks already today just need to do an eyeshadow primer i think i'm going to go in with my favorite at the moment which is the nyx jumbo pencil in milk because it really makes everything pop i'm having a hard time using anything else just lately because i just find i get a really good result with this but yeah when this arrived i was like do i showcase this on my channel now because it's like it's too late as i say for valentine's day but i'm very much of the opinion that makeup is just makeup and it doesn't have to be tied to the time of year i mean it's obviously when you're creating content it's if it's valentine's day if it's i don't know pride time of year if it's uh halloween if it's christmas it's easy to theme looks around that and I often do that but I still like dark and grungy looks in the middle of summer and I sometimes wear bright more summery colours in winter so I honestly don't think it matters too much what time of year I use it. Now I want this to be a really red look so we're going to go in with Anger Mood by LH Cosmetics and I'm going to put that in my waterline and not on my lower lash line and if you guys watch my friend Jane, Jane Wilkes, I'll uh, link her channel, but she was asking people to say whether they do their waterline first or last in the look. And honestly, I do both, but I quite often like to start with the waterline because you can then use it as a base shade for the lower lash line as well, which is what we're going to do today. And of all of the LH Cosmetics pencils, Anger Mood is my favourite, so it's always nice to be able to incorporate this one into a look. Always when I've used these on the lower lash line, I use the Linda Howard 303 to smudge it out, but any kind of stiff bristled brush that you can use to move the product around a little bit, just to help just blur on that lower lash line. because I don't really use eyeshadow primer on my lower lash line using pencils this way really helps to make the shadow that you put on it last all day and to really look pigmented as well so looking completely crazy at the moment all right as I say I think I want to do a halo eye today I've not done one for a little while so I'm going to start with the shade cherry and build that up on the outer and inner parts of my eye and then I'm going to deepen it up with this shade which is called fresh They've both got a little bit of like that micro sparkling like sequin shadows but they'll behave like mattes I think. So I'm going to start with cherry and I'm just going to pack that as I say on the outer and inner corners. And I like this brush for, for packing. 
beautiful. I mean, it's falling apart. This is a Sigma brush and literally the paint is coming off of it and it's, it's falling apart. And I've got a few of my Sigma brushes doing that. I mean, granted they are, they are old. The bristles on the brushes are great, but the handles are falling apart. Just curious, have you guys had the same problem with any of your Sigma brushes? <laughs> Because my cheaper Morphe ones that I've had as long don't do that, so I don't know what that's all about. That's a pretty impressive red. That's a red red, isn't it? What I don't like about reds is if they're red in the pan and then turn out sort of pink on the eyes. But that is a red red. As I say, you can't see the sparkles now I'm packing it on. And I am just packing the colour at the moment, I'm not looking to, to blend it at all, just want to get maximum opacity that I can and I'm going for a rounded shape and I don't think I'm going to use a wing with this look today so I'm going to try and make it dramatic with the eyeshadow today, just packing on the inner part as well, trying not to let it get too crazy but I still want to really see this red and I'm going to as I say deepen up a little bit with the brown so we need to be seeing enough of it to be able to do that yeah peachy queen palettes go for a song like when they first come out they're around about $30 $35 something along those lines but I always wait until they send me an email with a code for the 55% off, which often is quite often, and that helps to pay for the shipping, which isn't extortionate from them either. I mean, some brands want ridiculous amounts for shipping. Some only want sort of $15, which I think this was, or $18, which I can cope with that. You know, when it gets in the realms of like $40, which, you know, love the brand to bits, but Blend Bunny are charging if you want courier shipping options from $40 up to about $60. I can't justify that, which is why I haven't bought the Dollhouse palette. I really want it because I love the Surge palette so much, but that's a lot of shipping. I know the brands have got to pay for it and they're small indie brands, but you've got to think where the, where the sense is in it, you know, you've got to do what's the right thing for your own budget. Right. That's looking pretty pigmented. I think we might need to come up a little bit higher with the red though on this side. If you're looking for a cherry red, this is pretty good. And I want to deepen it a little bit on the outer inner, so I'm going to use fresh. I'm just more so going to keep that on the lid rather than up into the, the crease area. I always want maximum depth that I can achieve. It makes sense to have a brown like this to deepen reds, I think. Again, I'm just going to deepen the inners as well. But just on the lid. Now, I'm not going to add any additional product to the brush, but I'm just going to work on blending between the brown and the red as it goes up into the crease area there. So just little circular motions. And now to blend the red out and kind of connect across as well, I'm going to use this shade Darling. It's like a salmony pink. I think it's really going to look pretty. So it's going to add a little bit of a pink edge around. I'm going to use that on the lower lash line as well. And that's going to be my blending shade for that red. So I'm only using a very small amount of it and little circular motions and taking that onto the lower lash line and then we're going to carry that darling shade through the crease but a little bit higher than my natural crease line just to give us plenty of eye space but I am going to connect up using that shade it's just like a more salmony colour of the red really just a little bit lighter and more more peachy salmony I'm going to use that colour just to blend in the inner corner as well. So far so good. These are going up nicely and blending really nicely without too much fallout as well. And I think they're the only colours I'm going to use. But 
to get a nice blend. I'm not going to add any more product now, but I'm just going to work on bringing that up a bit higher towards my brow. So now the area down the centre of my lids, we're going to go in with NYX Glitter Primer. Right, so the colours for the shimmers then, I'm going to go in with O Jam first of all. And then I think for the centre part, I'm going to use Baby. O Jam is going to go each side of the halo. Oh, that's really pretty. So I'm taking that, as I say, each side of the halo, but not too far across. I want plenty of space for a really bright centre there. That's a pretty shade, really pretty. I'm layering it a little bit with that fresh shade, and I'm just going to just add a little bit of the fresh shade, which was the brown, just to help it flow there in that corner. Okay, and then in the centre of the halo, we're going to go in with Baby, this one here. It's a really bright shade. It's uh, a bit of a topper shade, though, so I'm having to build that up to get maximum opacity, but it's really pretty. Just where it's going into my crease there, I'm just making sure I'm blending it as well as I can with the mattes that are there. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that O Jam shade just to help the two colours flow together. Just using a smaller brush now though. Okay, I think that's the look to this point. So just going to hop off camera for the finishing touches, mascara and a lip and I'll be back with you with the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Turned out pretty dramatic. I love the combination of kind of the eye has turned a bit pink because of what I've blended it out with and then combining that with a red lip. So to finish the look off, I've used NYX Epic Ink Liner just to line my upper lid, but not to create a wing. Thought, I've done a lot of wings lately, let's not do a wing today. Uh, for lips though, I've gone in with a red liquid lipstick, it's from Anastasia and it's in the shade American Doll, one of my absolute favourite reds of all time. And yeah, I think it really is a nice combination, the pink and the red together, it always looks so pretty I think. So the palette was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed playing with this one actually, but it is my kind of colours that I really do enjoy and yeah, it just is super cute isn't it, it's going to look lovely in my background, I'm definitely going to display it. The shades themselves, as I say, the shimmers in here are your traditional shimmer shades. They're not those multi-dimensional glitzy kind of shimmers that everybody seems to want these days. For me, I don't mind a traditional shimmer. They show up a lot less texture on older eyelids. They're quite easy to work with as well. So I'm always quite happy to have a traditional shimmer as long as it'll pick up nicely on a brush, and these do. The mattes that I used, a couple of them I've got the sparkles in, so Fresh and Cherry, those two. I like those sequin shadows. And you don't see the glitter particles on the eye, and I think they include that glitter because it really helps with the blending process. And as you saw, they pretty much blended themselves, to be honest. That shade, Darling, is so, so pretty. It's almost neon. It's like so bright. I don't know if it's showing up quite as vivid as what it is on camera, but it's super beautiful. Some of the shimmers are a bit more topper shade, so that baby, that was a bit more of a topper, but that's the one that's in the centre of my lids, and it does look really pretty there. There's quite a lot of things you could do with this one. You could go quite neutral with it, with the addition of that brown. I think that really does help, you know, the directions that it will go in. But you're going to get a predominantly pink and red kind of vibe out of this, and there's no problem with that in my book, because they're some of my favourite shades to wear. So yeah, if you see a code for Peachy Queen, you can pick this up normally with about 55% off. I've seen that a lot. And as I say, I paid $15. You're paying just over a pound a shade. I think it's great value for that. So I'm really happy to have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me play with a different palette that perhaps you don't see everybody else using. I don't think I've seen any reviews on this or anyone using it on their channel. So yeah, it's been fun to do. If you're new to my channel, I hope you might consider subscribing before you go. But everybody, just thank you for watching another one of my videos. It's so much appreciated. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Have a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.